In this video, we'll be discussing about the variants of SARS-CoV-2. We know we have different types of variants globally, but there are some variants of concern which we'll be discussing today. We see we have the SARS-CoV-2 virus, it gets mutations and from these mutations we get different types of variants. And most of the mutations that are of concern exist in S gene of SARS-CoV-2 that affects the spike protein. Now let's get directly towards the variants of concern. First we have the B.1.1.7 which is also known as the UK COVID-19 variant because this variant mostly predominates the UK that's United Kingdom. This variant has got the following important mutations E484K, P681H, 144DEL or you can say Y144 deletion. Then it has got H69, V70 deletion. Then it has got N501Y and also it has got the D614G mutation. So these are the most important mutations that we can see in B.1.1.7 variant. Now let's see in a brief manner what these mutations do. The first mutation that is the E484K mutation is an escape mutation because it helps the virus to evade the immune system. The second mutation that is P681H mutation enhances the viral entry into the cell by possibly abolishing the phosphoinhibition at S1-S2 site. Then we have the Y144 deletion. This mutation reduces the antibody binding. Then we have the H69 V70 deletion. This mutation results in conformational change in the spike protein. Then we have another mutation that is N501 Y mutation. This mutation increases the binding affinity towards the human ACE2 receptor. And last important mutation that is the D614G mutation that is also present in the spike protein. It reduces the S1 shedding and increases the infectivity of virus. Now let's get to the second variant. It is the B.1.1.318 variant. This one is also predominantly present in United Kingdom. This variant has got the same important mutations in spike protein like E484K mutation, P681H mutation, Y144 deletion, D614G mutation. Furthermore, it has got one important mutation that's D796H mutation. It's an adaptive mutation which helps to escape some convalescent plasma antibodies. And then we have 6970 deletion mutation in spike protein that compensates for some loss of fitness due to above mutation that is D796H mutation. Then we have another variant of concern that is B.1.351 variant. This one is also called the South African variant. It has got mutations like E484K mutation, N501Y mutation, K417N mutation and D614G mutation. The K417N reduces sensitivity of virus towards antibodies and also increases the binding affinity towards the ACE2 receptor. Now moving towards another variant that is from the United States which is also termed as B.1.429 according to its lineage. It is mostly present in the California state. It has got L452R mutation, S13I mutation, W152C mutation and D614G mutation. The L452R mutation states that leucine at 452 position is replaced with arginine. This mutation alters the dynamics in the receptor binding motif of RBD, which indirectly affects the binding of ACE2 receptors during the infection. Then we have B.1.617 variant. It predominates the India and is variant of concern there. It is double mutant with two important mutations. One is the E484Q mutation and second one is the L452R mutation. The E484Q mutation is different from E484K mutation in only one amino acid substitution change. Now let's move towards the B.1.525 variant which predominates the UK. It has got three important mutations like E484K mutation, 144 delta mutation, F888L mutation. And the last important variant of concern is the P.1. It is also known as Brazilian variant. 
it has got mutations like E484K mutation, N501Y mutation, K417T mutation, D614G mutation. So these are the important variants of concern with their important mutations that affects the transmission positively. And these mutations helps in evading the immune system also. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.